good morning children how are you okay children last class from english literature i taught you chapter 1 going to the fair i told you to find out the answers of uh, this chapter okay now let us discuss the question answers now listen the instructions which i am going to give you these question answers i am discussing you write down the answers in the rough copy and then make it fair and when the school will reopen i will do the correction am i clear children okay first of all take out page number 18 complete the following sentences on the night before the fair avery dreamed that fairies will had stopped and he was in the top car i repeat avery dreamed that fairies will had stopped and he was in the top car fun dreamed that she was on the swings fern dreamed that she was on the swings okay now next question number 2 now that you have read the story draw up two list one showing that fern plan to spend her money and the other showing what avery wanted to do with the money he had fern list go on the swings win a uh, sorry win a doll by spinning a wheel by a balloon avery's list ride the fern's wheel steer a jet plane Uh, number C is eat a frozen custard and a cheese burger by a balloon. Now, children, let us move to reference to the context. You children, be quiet till we get the animals unloaded," said Mrs. Arable. Who were the children that Mrs. Arable was speaking to? What will be the answer? The children that Mrs. Arable was speaking to were Fern and Avery. I repeat, the children that Mrs. Arable was speaking to were Fern and Avery. Where were the Arables? Why were they there? They were in the fair, or you may write, they were in the fair grounds. they were there because they brought their children to see the fair or to watch the fair okay they were in the fair they were there because they brought their children to see the fair number c why did mrs arable ask the children to be quiet mrs arable asked the children to be quiet because the animals were getting unloaded because the animals were getting unloaded number 4 watch out for pickpockets warned their father why did mrs and mr arable give instructions to the children answer is mrs and mr arable gave instructions to the children so that they can take care of themselves so that they can take care of themselves list two warnings that they gave to the children can you guess okay i'm telling the answer the two other warnings that they gave to the children are don't get dirty if you are in swings you hang on every tie don't get dirty and if you are in swings you hang on every tight which word in the extract means people who still purses and wallets 
आंसर इज पिक पॉकेट्स पिक पॉकेट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव वॉट वेर द साउंड दैट फर्न एंड आर वेरी हर्ड वेन दे रीच द फेयर आंसर इज फर्न एंड आर वेरी हर्ड म्यूजिक एंड फ्लॉक्स ऑफ शेप bleating in their pens i repeat children they heard music and flocks of sheep bleating in their pens question number 6 how did the parents feel about the children going off on their own how did the children feel about going off on their own the parents felt insecure the parents felt insecure the children felt much excited do you agree with mr arabal and the fair is a good place to start growing up write two reasons for your answer yes in this ac this answer will be differ so i am writing here yes in this age they can become very smart and learn lot of things Now, children, I am giving you five sentence words. You frame sentences, okay? Five words are number one, bleating. Number two, excited. Sorry, not excited. Overheated. Pick pockets. Guess and. fairgrounds okay children now take out the poem so big page number 25 so big can you name some of the huge animals children yes elephant giraffe these are the huge animals Did you know that the largest animal living on earth is blue whale? Yes, we all of us know. Today in this poem we will read a, another big animal that is dinosaur. Have you heard this uh, about this animal? Dinosaur is a huge animal. that lived a long time ago it is a extinct animal means it now it is not seen it lived a long time ago okay the dinosaur an ancient beast you know what is the meaning of ancient it is thousand of years ago a beast means large animal the dinosaur is a uh, dinosaur is an ancient animal okay he i am told was very large means this uh, dinosaur is very huge very large the poet is saying that he was told that he th th that this animal was very big very huge very large his eyes were as big as tennis ball have you heard tennis ball have you seen tennis ball so it is compared to tennis ball means his uh, eyes are so big it looks like tennis ball and his stomach was bigger than a garage you know what is the meaning of garage garage means where we keep the cars okay so it is the stomach is so big that it is compared to a garage he had the biggest humping back have you seen camel on the back there is a hump so similarly this dinosaur also they have also a big hump on the back a neck as long as friday here see children our saturdays and uh, sundays are uh, weekends we enjoy these two days no so what happens generally friday it seems very long so it is compared that this animal is as long neck is as long as friday i am glad that he lived so long ago so he he is saying that he was he is happy that this animal lived a long time ago now he is not 
seen any more children now see below this poem some word meanings are there you learn okay ancient means long ago or we can say thousand of years ago beast means a large animal garage means a building where you keep your car humping back means a curved back like that of a camel now let us move to the exercises choose the right answer the poet knows that dinosaurs were very large because number 2 will be the answer he has been told they were very big the parts of the dinosaur described in the poem are eyes stomach back and neck the poet would not like to see a dinosaur number 3 okay now read this line and answer the questions that follow i am told was very large his eyes were as big as tennis ball his stomach was bigger than a garage why is the dinosaur called an ancient beast the answer is the dinosaur is called an ancient beast beast because it lived the long time ago i repeat because it lived a long time ago how big were the dinosaur's eyes the dinosaur's eyes were as big as tennis ball as big as tennis ball what is the dinosaur's stomach compared to the dinosaur's stomach is compared to a garage the uh, dinosaur's stomach is compared to a garage the poet says that dinosaur's neck is as long as friday do you think that fridays are long yes fridays are long hmm. what is the po uh, poet glad about why do you think this thought makes him glad the answer is the poet is glad about the dinosaur that lived so long ago this thought make him glad because the dinosaur did not live in his day i repeat the poet is glad about the dinosaur that lived so long ago this thought make him glad because the dinosaur did not live in his day okay so children i have discussed the question answers first of all you write in the rough copy then make it fair when school will reopen i will do the correction thank you children